And we know him as Junior from Breaking Bad. Actor RJ Mitty is back into Duke City just for a little bit right now, but this time he is behind the camera producing a documentary. And this morning he is here to talk with us about that. It is called Vanish, the Terra Calico story, along with Melinda Escabel, the director. Good morning to both of you. It's good to see you. Thanks more for coming than, in. More than, no, more than happy to you. Thanks All for right. having us. It is our pleasure. So let's talk about this. It's a documentary about Terra Calico. Stories old. Goes back to 1988. Pretty Correct. young student from Berlin, UNM student. She just vanished one day. RJ, how'd you get involved in a project about this? I actually, I knew the family. I knew her sister and her nieces. I actually I took one of them to a homecoming. Uh, did did you meet them ago. when you were here in Albuquerque I shooting, did, or did I you did. know them they, before? They were actually my, uh, my her, my, her, Tara's sister was my mother's, um, well, was my sister's uh, dance teacher. Okay. At a uh, dance school, and that's how we met, and uh, we, they just started talking, and one thing led to another, and somehow the story came up, and uh, several years later, Melinda started working on the project, and Next thing we know, uh, they're they're looking for a little bit of help and some funding, and I'm like, I'm more than happy to. And I came in, and we started I started working with them, and it was already what a, a year in the progress. Yep. So. Okay, that's awesome. It's one of the greatest things about what you and everyone with Breaking Bad did is give back to the community. Melinda, what are we going to see when this documentary comes out? Y'all are working on it right now. Um, I think what we'll see is we'll finally get some answers as to what happened to Tara. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of, because I think with, you know, everybody just thought she disappeared. No one really knew what happened. And, you know, we've done a lot of investigation and we've come up with a, a scenario of what happened with her. And so um, that's what they're going to find out. Is there any chance she's still alive? Uh, there were some rumors or maybe a picture of a woman who was found kind of bound and gagged in Florida with a boy. Right. That her family said, we think this is her. It never really went anywhere. Right. I don't believe that she is alive at you this don't. time. Unfortunately, um, what this has also done, this has gotten there's a task force that yes. is now investigating this with local authorities, even with national, with the Homeland Security. Yes. How great is it that this has been that you're getting national attention on this now again? This is amazing. You know, that's why I started the documentary in the beginning, because I wanted someone to reopen the case and solve it and, you know, hopefully find her body. And uh, four years into it, um, Albuquerque uh, APD, Valencia County Sheriff's and uh, Bernalillo County Sheriff's uh, uh, with Homeland Security leading the way came together to form this task force. And they are currently looking for tips to locate Tara's body and to uh, you know, finish the investigation. Any idea when it can be out? Um, the documentary will probably be out within the next year, I would say. Okay, very cool. RJ, so you're working on that. You're on Switched at Birth on ABC Family. You're also yeah, shooting right. a movie called Who's Driving Doug? You're Doug. Uh, I'm so Doug. who's driving Doug? I'm Doug. I, that is a big question. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's going to be good. The character, um, the stories about character with muscular dystrophy, and it's, uh, it's interesting to see how it's going to play out, uh, Ray William Johnson from um, YouTube um, is in it, uh, Paloma Katowatsky, is Katowatsky, Katowatsky. Uh, from uh, Bates Motel and quite okay. a few other good shows and um, she, she was wonderful and it was, a, it was a, good, a good movie, a good fun, we shot, a, sadly we did not shoot in New Mexico. We, it uh, happens. We, it happens. We shot three weeks in Los Angeles and one week in um, Vegas. Okay, so it's nice. You so, got to stay yeah. close to home. I'm very for happy. a little bit. Uh, you're the face of Gap, <laughs> as I, well. I we see on the commercials. <laughs> that is pretty cool. The other thing, we're all wondering. You know, um, better call Saul. Is shooting I, here in the Duke City. I, Has Saul called you to be yet. on it? <laughs> not yet. But, not yet. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I'm I'm excited to see it. That's why I really I really want to wait and see how it plays out. And, I think it's going to be good. You know, Bob Odenkirk's amazing. Mm -hmm. Funny what, guy. He, he added a lot funny. of humor to Breaking well, Bad. He, he did, but he's such an interesting character, and Bob himself is such a terrific actor at what he portrays and what he brings mm -hmm. to his characters. So I, I'm interested to see how it's going to play out, and I think it's going to be good. If they were to ask you, would you do it? Yeah. Depend, depends on uh, depends on the number. Okay, that's, of course, that's the way it always <laughs> is. He's in front of his manager. Uh, real quick, is so you're living back in LA full time, you're doing a lot of traveling and shooting. Yeah. What do you miss most about shooting Breaking Bad and just about New Mexico in general? You know, I I miss New Mexico a lot. I miss it, there's so much here that I miss the people that I uh, the friends I made along the way. And I it's weird because when you travel when you travel like I travel 
we're gone from chunks of time. So, so yeah. much happens in that chunk of time. And people change. Cities change. It's, it's crazy to watch how fast a city can grow when you've, you've seen it in spurts. And I, we had such a blast filming here. And, and I, I miss my friends here. And it's, it's weird because I come through like this. I'm, I'm, I'm just passing through. And literally, I'm, I'm gone. I, I, didn't, I saw yeah. two people, maybe three. Yeah. And that was, that was it. Okay. So. Well, appreciate you guys making time. No, You're no, literally no. here for less than 24 hours. Yes. Melinda Escabel, yes. RJ Mitty, thank you for coming in. When the documentary comes out about Tara Galco, come back in. Okay. Let's talk Great. about it. Thank appreciate you so it. much. It's good for to see you, too. Thank you all. By the way, for more on it, head to casa.com. We'll be right back.